welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 296. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Starstream. Hello, everypony. Happy New Year. Yes, Happy New Year, everyone. So, this is the first show of 2018 and also the last show for 2017. Ooh. <laughs> Doesn't time work much fun? Like we're recording this in the past, but we're posting this in the future. It's like in between. Ooh. <laughs> yep. Just like how people actually take the plane flight from uh, New Year and fly back to 31st uh, December. Of oh the God, past year. no. They're time the traveling. Time <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. But still, um, welcome everyone to 2018. I hope you guys have an awesome start to the year i know i will <laughs> um but other than that what can i say it's gonna be one fun start Let, let's hope for that let's hope for that yep i can guarantee that well it's gonna be a lot of work at the same time though maybe a lot of conventions to go we will never be known right yeah we won't know until we kind of go there i guess but still yep. but still uh, other than that right um let's see we got more ponies to come. Uh, from what we've seen in Set Future, there have been a lot of really good ponies in our future, especially quote unquote season eight. Yes, I agree. We got season eight. Do we have new Equestria girls? Oh, obviously we do. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, 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 we do. Now I remember. Yeah, we do, we do, we do, we do. We have a few more Equestria Girls coming out. There's one where I want to really talk about it, but I can't because, uh, how do I put this? A character that we <laughs> like, or actually a character that I like, likes to do the things you and I like to do. Ooh, what's that? I can't say, man. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but still, but still, um, let's head into set news and in today's news we have Enterplay again uh, previously we talked about them with the posters and cards and they're doing it again and this time they added two new posters and one new promotional card and this poster is the stained glass poster that looks really cool and another is the Main Twilight and Main Six poster. You remember this one? I think this one was promotional art and also done for the Singapore. Uh, no, 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 no. I think this could be one of the Singapore um MRT cards. If you guys got no idea what those are, it's technically a cash card where you use it to for public transport. For the MRT <laughs> trains, the mass rapid mm, transit yeah. cards. So, based on what I've seen right now, the poster, right? That mm -hmm. looks just like the art book poster. Yeah, 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 yeah. One. Now I remember. Yeah. That's basically the art book poster. <laughs> yeah, now I remember. Yeah, the, the... It's, I mean, it's not it's not the poster. It's actually the front cover. The, what do you call it? The dust cover for the book. Still, it looks good, yo. I mean, this into a poster, I would love it. And the price is $10 again, right? If I'm not mistaken. Ah, yes, it's between 7 to 10. If it's folded, it's 7. If it's rolled, it's 10. Mm. And if you buy the stained glass pony, uh, you'll get a free Enterplay card. Do you notice that the stained glass poster looks a bit familiar? This is kind of sketchy in terms of what I want to talk about. Because, okay, um, yeah. you showed me something before and... This is technically not really spoiler since it's not in the movie, but it's in one of the deleted contents. Yeah. So it's so... like, okay, I'll just say it because uh, this poster here is actually taken from one of the deleted contents from the movie. Uh, technically, it's just the intro, like yeah. how Princess Twilight, no, like how Twilight mentioned in season one, episode one, so something similar to that. But other than that, it's nothing really to you know what it's confusing but said poster loves looks cool and in all honesty i want to buy all three of them because they look good yeah well if we had the budget to go then we should go for it if we had the cash 
Yeah, but you know, I don't want my poster folded. You can you just imagine how it, that would look? I mean, you have creases around the poster and whatnot. That won't look good. Yeah, especially with the fold mark, as they call it. Yeah, they don't look good. All I want is like a roll-up poster, but that will be ten bucks, and then like the shipping is going to be more expensive. Well, in another way, you could just think about that ten bucks as a uh, seven bucks with the roll-up poster tube or something. Yeah, but here's the thing. International customers, we can only ship flat posters internationally with standard shipping rates due to extreme expenses of shipping the large box. If you would like to purchase roll posters or find out cost of shipping, please contact our customer service team at info at interplaystore.com. So it's like... Yo, you want the roller posters? You have to call us to find out. Yeah. So, eh, extra work. Like, I do really want these posters, but... uh, Oh, but still. I would love to get these posters. I would love to get these posters. But, hey, I'm sure they'll be around. I'm sure they'll be around. But let's head on to second news. And second news is we'll get more quest struggles. Woohoo! Ooh. (laughs) I know you... I know you're not a big fan star, but uh, I am. Nope. I, I love <laughs> Equestria Girls. And um, one of the few things that Hasbro did in one of their um, sales guide for 2018 is that they're telling us what shows are quote-unquote out there. And Equestria Girls has something for it too. Like, you just go into the show notes to see what I'm talking about. But they tell... Us that, oh, okay, the target audience for Equestria Girls is between 6 to 11 years old. Uh, production is uh, 2013 to 18. Delivery is available now. Um, it says that it has four movies, which is 72 minutes worth in length. And specials, which is, they have three specials, which is 22 minutes. That would be the Magic series. Remember that one? Where uh, Shim Sham appeared? Mm-hmm. And also two forty-four minute specials, and ooh, that too is new because I don't remember seeing anything that long. And from what they was, say, hmm? one question though, I'm curious: was it? I think it was Glim Glam, not Shim Sham. Glim Glam, Shim Sham. Oh man, I. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Shim Sham is uh, Star uh, Sunset. Sun- yeah. Shim Sham. Yeah, Sunset. Like Glim Glam is uh, Starlight. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, but still, um, the forty-four minute special is the rumored holiday special. Which holiday? I got no idea. Probably Halloween will be a good one, and also Christmas probably. Yeah, who knows? So that will be something interesting. I can't wait. Personally, I can't wait. Love Request Struggle, so I really can't wait. No interested watching? Uh, probably not. <laughs> oh, 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 just me alone then. And last well... news. Sorry? Well, it's not maybe you'll be alone. Maybe someone else is also going to watch it. Who oh, knows, yeah. right? All us Equestria Girls fan. <laughs> yep. Yeah, but still, but still. Uh, last news on the docket for this week is uh, Aloka My Little Pony Starlight's now available. So if you guys got no idea what the heck is an Aloka My Little Pony thing is, it's basically one of those tandies that you can illuminate. I think it's made of Flexi glass or something like that? Just checking it out right now. It's kind of interesting, I think. And in all honesty, I think this is exclusive to My Little Pony because their website, Aloka dot, uh, com is only showing ponies and nothing other than that. Okay, Aloka Starlight. Okay, okay, okay. They do have others. Uh, they have like fire trucks, giraffe. A uh, non-pony unicorn, a mermaid, soccer ball, robot, cars, and a pirate. Yo ho! It does look very cool, but sad thing it says it's currently available in USA only. For now, for now, but this looks really cool. Um, going back to ponies, uh, they have from what I can tell, Rainbow Dash, Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, and Twilight. Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie. I already said that. Okay. Uh, but yeah, th- this is all cool. This is all cool. But we're missing two ponies, Applejack and Rarity. We we need those two to complete the set. Yep. 
And so what you can do with it is very simple. You can just install it as your RGB for your PC case. That's why I'm your... going, man. That's why I'm <laughs> going, man. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, this product here uses the uh, what you call this controller, uh, RGB controller. Yes, remote control. Uh, you can set the light to whatever color you want, and. You know, sometimes uh, people like to put in some figures inside their PC. You seen that before? Mm-hmm. Yep, I seen that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know what you can do? You can insert this into your PC to put it more bling, yow. Yow. <laughs> like RGB everything. I wonder if there's an RGB controller for this. Like, could you hook up to your PC or not and make it, uh, make the PC run the RGBs? Like, wow, that would be so cool. Well, maybe you can what you call it, uh, mod mod the how the cable works. Maybe it will work. Probably you mod the RGB lighting the cable into the I don't know the circuitry. If you know how to do it, that's it. Probably. That I mean, still, it's one of those things where oh man, I need to do more work now, man. I I want it to be done automatically. Well, the one thing I'm kind of curious. It says it's the product is included with the remote control. Well, yeah. that's awesome. AA battery, okay, fine. But what's with the USB cable then? Uh, to power it up or to charge it. Why? Uh, I mean, my as well just make rather than using a. Oh, okay, fine. Never mind. So that means the. Uh, wait a minute. That means you can do it. It's not true RGB with the PC. What you're doing is you're just feeding it power. Well, better than nothing, right? Yeah, but like, if you're really true PC enthusiast, you want RGB control to match up with your Aura Sync or your uh, what, Razer what? Chroma. Yeah, Razer Chroma, or even your uh, let's see, uh, the um, Steel Series. What does Steel Series have? I have a Steel Series, but I got no idea what he has. Give me a second. Uh, Steel Series engine episode. Oh yeah, um, Prisma Sync. Yes. <laughs> Low. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. So, uh, if you want to sync it up that way, you can. So yeah. Oh oh oh. Um, what you call this? Uh, Steel Series has this thing called uh, audio visualizer where. It has the RGB thing go bloopity bloop. <laughs> so yeah, this is cool, man. Like, honest, in all honesty, like, okay, we're we're kind of PC enthusiasts, so we'll think about it in the PC sense. But the thing that they're meant to do this with is like, okay, it's for side bed lamp or a night light for the kids and whatnot, and with a forty minute timer with cycling rainbow colors and so on. It's, it really looks cool and really looks fun for the kids, you know. Well, like I said, it's not just for the PC case. You could just put it be- like the LED strips behind the monitor, like some people done. Yeah, but that, no comment on that one because I never personally experienced it. But that would be annoying at some point. But still, I would really love this because I just want to pimp up my PC, y'all. Yeah, pimp it up there. <laughs> yeah, I need more ponies. That's how you get it 20% cooler. Yep, pimp my PC. Uh, MLP style. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but still, but still. That's the news for this week. And well, let's head into my favorite topic of the week, which is what have we been doing for a week? So as for me, this week has been pretty simple. Uh, nothing too fancy or too extreme. Uh, let's see. Um, in all honesty, I technically did nothing much. I think I went to one of my friend's shop who sells uh, what you call this card games and also video games. The shop really looks nice and it's kind of fancy. And other than that, uh, I don't know, man. Like, haven't been doing anything much. Oh, bought a few games on Steam because of the Christmas sale. Oh, Christmas. Yeah, mm-hmm. I did that one too. So, hung out with the family, ate some chicken, and we're all good. So, other than that, nothing much really. How about yourself, man? Well, this week is basically I just went back to work after my long break. My long, long holiday from my travel. Okay, so a bit of a uh, stuff done here and there, not much difference. It's a bit of a slow week also. 
Other than that, I just got a new furniture which I still need to assemble. <laughs> What's this? Your PC table or something like that? No, it's a bookshelf which uh-huh. I need to assemble it to clean up my area around me because I have too much stuff. Oh, that wouldn't be long, right? Like That would take you, what, probably half a day, something like that? I have no idea because I've been looking at it when I'm not in KL, so it kind of got my attention, so I kind of want to try it out, oh, building did, it. Did you buy an EK or something? No, nope, I bought it in my local area. It's way more expensive, but, well, no choice, right? It's the one easy way to got, get it. Probably, yeah. Overall, what else did I do? I haven't bought any game from Steam's Christmas sales. Just been looking at stuff. Because other than that, my wallet is a bit dry out <laughs> for all this purchasing and whatnot. Uh, yeah. And not to, not to mention there was a bit of audio upgrades here and there. Just plan to buy another headphone again. What? <laughs> oh, me. <laughs> a new headphone? Like the one you have is pretty good, man. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to get the something known as the... Sennheiser HD 6XX and well there's another one that came out that called 58X and I somehow decided to get that also oh man you're such an audiophile like there's so too much man too much nah it's just more like I could one I could just use it in my desktop with my headphone amps and all this and then another one I could just like portable and bring it out then again it's open back headphones so won't be that kind of a fun thing to do <laughs> Especially our people around you can hear what your music. Oh man, like okay, okay. Um, yeah, no, no comment on that one. But I did hear your Sennheisers, and they were no, they were not Sennheisers. They were um, Audio Technica, right? Yeah, my current one that I was using is Audio Technica. Well, at least I'm gonna get another open back headphone, which is gonna be fun once I get it. Well, the, though the shipping. Ri- it's like March and June, so it will be a long while to wait. All right, all right. Still, uh, it's something. Oh, by the way, I just remembered I did something else. Uh, I tried the PSVR. <laughs> Ooh, how was it? Uh, it was really interesting. It was really interesting. Um, how about this? Uh, my friend let me try the Resident Evil Vendetta demo. That's the Resident Evil um, 3D movie starring Leon Kennedy, Claire Redfield, and Chris Redfield. And mm-hmm. it was showing me in the perspective of a zombie, which was pretty cool. Wow. Which was really cool. And yeah, it's, it, it was okay. It was fun. And I recorded the video of my friend playing some Fates. Uh, fit Grand Order or something like that, yeah. And I videoed him playing something like that and it's quote-unquote a dating scene or something like that. Similar to that where you can interact with girls and whatnot and I'm like, okay. And like any other guy, you would try to do something that every other guy do. <laughs> well, talk, talking about what I saw, I actually saw a shop that have the VR Oculus Rift. Ooh. And not Oculus Uh HTC Vive on arcade. I was like, huh. Arcade? But the thing is that, yeah, it's just like, you know, you pop a few coins and other, then you just try it out the demo or something. I don't know how long is the demo. I was like, I was thinking about trying it, but the more I think about it, you know what? I don't think I should try it out. You know, because the fact that I could just save that money and just get myself a wife instead and be the, what you call it, the badass guy who owns a uh, Oculus. I don't know, sorry. Uh, a virtual reality device. Well, since the fact that my PC is built for VR, VR stuff. Yeah. Yep. We are ready. Well, if you want to. I mean, the thing is to try it out just to see how it works and whatnot. Like, yeah, I can understand. It's just... Yeah, but then me. again, if I do try it out, the next thing I know is I have to wait impatiently just to get it. Uh, yeah, you're the impulse buyer type. Okay. Yep. Well, after a long time thinking, I was like, you know what? Screw it. I just buy it. Do you really want a VR set? Like, to me, I don't really find the VR thing that appealing. I mean, okay, yeah, it's kind of fun, but in all honesty, it's not that great. Well, why not, right? True. The why not seems pretty appealing. But I don't know. Maybe it's me with the PlayStation consoles. Like, uh, like... It's there's nothing I much I can do since like it's bound to the PlayStation console. 
but if it was the HTC Vibe or the Oculus Rift, that'll be something interesting because you can do it for the PC and you got more options with it. Yes, correct. Ah, uh, well, that's not really a problem I want to think about because, yeah, it's not really something I want to focus on. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention is, remember one of our previous guest hosts, um, Charles? He yeah. posted a interview up on his workplace. The, what shall we call that place? I forgot. Uh, Exoterica? Yeah, that place. Yeah, he posted uh, my interview up there and it was pretty cool, man. Nice. At least you enjoy it. Yeah, it was fun, man. It was really fun. Just having the, what should we call this, interview up and just like answering questions. It was fun. Like, and seeing it up on a website, not mine. <laughs> oh, it was really fun. So finally get the acknowledgement that you need. Uh, yeah, man. In a way. Yeah, man. So if everyone who is curious about how the show started, I would recommend going to the article and reading reading it and it, it was pretty fun it's pretty fun it answered a few of the basic questions that you might have and star you read it right yeah i read some of it <laughs> did just it... skim through it mostly <laughs> okay did it answer any of the questions that you were pondering about i think it's answered a long time ago wasn't it oh uh, yeah <laughs> when i was just talking me. yeah personally by you yeah yeah that's more than enough for me then again it's since it's an interview you may cut off some of the important bits and parts yeah true 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 so, uh, Oh, well, you won't well. say everything. Oh, yeah, true, true. But still, it's much fun. It's much fun. Uh, but still, yep. that's one of the articles that you guys should check it out. Like, I think I put it into the show notes or something like that. So, yeah, uh, that'll be there. That'll be there. But anywho, if you guys at home have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbsshowgmail.com. You can also catch us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And Star, where can the good people find you? People can find me on my tw- tw- Twitter and my DeviantArt account, AngelicoreXX. Alrighty then, alrighty then. Everything will be in the show notes. And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyvoLive.com. Links are in the show notes. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at Patreon.com and Coffee.com. If every support, you'll get early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Lurka Cat, Nemjagatoria, Starstream, myself, Lag, Amy, Mark, and also Charles. Thank you so much, guys, for the awesome support. You have been really, really awesome. So, anywho, I have been Norman Sanzo. This is Starstream. And we'll guys catch you next week with another awesome episode of the MBS show. So, happy new year guys and see ya. <laughs> yeah, see ya. <laughs>